What's up YouTube? This is Dave Brooks with TheVocalTeacher.com and coming end of next week, The Virtual Vocal Teacher, a catalog of comprehensive, systematic video vocal tutorials. Super excited about that. Uh, so sorry about uh, not leaving a video last week. I've had the flu, so I have been under the weather. Getting a little bit better now. Still dealing with a little bit of that funk, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, rip off a video for you guys anyway. Uh, Today, I want to talk with everybody about a topic that is oftentimes overlooked by coaches and students alike. And that is chest voice. Most people take their chest voice for granted, meaning that when you're singing low, there's really no attention to the lining up of the vocal folds. People don't feel a need to, to, to do that. But I want to correct that notion uh, right now. And let's go ahead and put all the cards on the table. If you're not lining up the vocal folds in the easiest of all vocal registers, if you're not practicing this, then you're literally cheating yourself out of the fullness that you should be experiencing through your first breaks, your first break, your first passaggio, which for men is E, F, F sharp, females A, B flat, B. You're literally cheating yourself out of the fullness that the chest register will bring to your mix. If the vocal folds aren't lined up from the bottom up, then all you're going to do, or you're going to be doing rather, is overcompensating for a lack of coordination as you move towards your first break. And if you've ever done anything, whether it's playing sports, uh, riding a bike, or whatever, if you're doing something physical and you don't get a good run at it, or you could, you, you, maybe you're off balance and you have to correct yourself, there, if there's no grace from the onset of the activity, then there's going to be very little grace moving forward. Even if you're having to correct, or even if you are correcting rather, the fact that you are correcting means that there is a element of grace missing. So I want to go over this with, with you guys. This is going to be a more of a, sh a short video today, but don't, Ladies and gentlemen, don't take your chest register for granted. Remember, your chest register is the foundation, or the runway, I like to call it, to your mix. Mix is a combination of chest register and head register, head voice register. You put those together, you get your mix, or your money notes, I like to call them. So make sure, guys and gals, that you are legitimizing those chest, that your chest presentation by pouting down low. So you can create that consistent edge as you move forward. The form always follows all the way up. So guys, simple exercise. Just like I did before, I always start everybody with a nice pharyngeal in. It's nice and bright. And we go right to that neutral vowel, uh, uh, U-H. No, no, no. And you just edge out. Don't take it for granted. I hear this a lot when I ask my, my guys to do this. No, 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 no. And that's what I get. Na 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 na, and what I want is na 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 that pow. Na 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 na. Notice how I'm going to fry. Na 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 on the end. Now is that overdone? A lot of you will say yes, it's overdone, and I'm going to say so what. Right now, it's important that we overdo it a little bit to to get you to understand the importance of maintaining that edge all the way up, that that uh, the, that alignment all the way up. Overdone is okay for now. That'll fix itself later, I promise you. You'll end up balancing all that out. And uh, that uh, that that real over overly edgy presentation will give way to a much more balanced approach. But remember, guys, it, it's simple. N-U-H. Na, 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 na. And pout every note. Na, 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 na. Ladies, same with you. Na, 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 na. I use this exercise a lot. It's like, it, it's good for everything. It's like that, that uh, one uh, plant you can eat that cures everything. <laughs> so, um, it's amazing. It's like aloe vera. Love it. Na, na, na. Uh, na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Back down. Na, 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 na. Get used to presenting that pout, ladies, in your lower registers. Guys, in your lower registers. So important. 
Um, it's really going to uh, give you an honest um, uh, approach to your first break. Remember we talked about the breaks last couple videos. Where do you think those break notes or those bridge notes, once you master them, where do you think that process it comes from, <clears throat> that consistency comes from? It comes from an honest chest presentation. And that is just about always overlooked. Everybody wants to go right to their breaks, right to their first, break, first bridge, second bridge, and nail those notes. Well, the thickness and the fullness of your mixed notes comes from that chest presentation. If you'll line those vocal folds up right from the beginning, man, you are, you are right as rain. You're on your way to expressing honest, legitimate mix coordinations, power mix coordinations. All right? So <clears throat> this is my vocal tip of the week. No, no, no. You can use it for anything. It's, it's, it's a great starting out point. It's a very bright pharyngeal consonant in is, and then that is a nice neutral vowel. The second thing you can do is a hybrid of that, and that's just an, um, uh, you drop the N in favor of the of the vowel. So you go instead of going na 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 na, you just ride that edge up in legato form. Na na na. One more. Na. Gentlemen, ladies, let's do this. Na. So important to really give those bottom notes, that bottom, your chest register, that nice, edgy uh, goodness. Make sure you're doing that. Really, really important. It sets it up nicely from a technical perspective moving forward in your exercises. Now, there are so many different vowel consonant combinations we can use moving forward. And uh, as when my virtual vocal teacher comes out, uh, I hope a lot of you subscribe to that because it's it's going to give you uh, a, a very system systematic way of approaching your consonants and how you build and connect and bridge through resonance, through physical edging, and through proper laryngeal positioning. Those three ways are the ways that you bridge. And so I, I really have taken a little bit of time here and gone out of my way to make it really easy to understand in every... Every exercise is built uh, on the last, and everything progresses the way it should. But uh, this should not be, nothing you do with me, in, in terms of understanding it, should be difficult. And nothing you do with me, ultimately, in terms of effectuating it, should be difficult. The, 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 the key is, is, is practicing, practicing every day, making sure that you're, you're, taking this information and you're using it and not taking those low notes for granted, guys and gals. Just really easy thing to do, but most, most of the time it's just overlooked. You're not giving an honest presentation from the beginning. And that's so important if you expect to thin out properly as you move up. All right, so anyway, that's my vocal tip of the week. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And uh, I will talk to you uh, next week. Uh, give you another video. Don't forget, the virtual vocal teacher is coming out in about 10 days. I'm super excited. I'm right in the middle of my beta test of, 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 uh, of it right now, but, but it's coming. And I think you guys are really going to be pleased with uh, the amount of content you get. And the price is going to blow your mind. It's going to be awesome. So excited. All right. I'll talk to you guys next week. Have a great rest of your week. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you next video.